Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today we are going to talk about the five most common issue on 3D modeling for you to get the naked edges and how to fix it. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we starting to figure out how to fix the naked edges, I would like to explain what it is and how to find it. Let's say I have a box right here. If you explode it, they are become the six faces and then all of the faces is not connected together. So what we, we wanted to do is join them together. On the property on the right side, you're going to see here is say closed solid polish surface. So I'm going to explode it one more time. If you are missing any of this, even though the rest of this is joined together and on the property here will say open polish surface. In some cases, it's hard to find where the naked edges is because where the naked is really, really small. So if we join this, you're going to find out like where's the naked edges probably here and then you, because you can see. The way to find out the naked edges is you come into the analyze and then you have an edge tool and then you have a show edge and you will have a hot pink color right there to show where the naked edges. All right, so let's get into the point. The most mistake having a naked edges, number one, is the sweep. Let's take a look on this shape right here. If we want to test for naked edges, we want to send it into this object to the edge analyze and then you can zoom in and it will show you where the naked edges is, right? So this is really common that people have a naked edges on their model. And if you have a naked edges, you cannot print it out because it's, it's leaking. Uh, it will leak the material in there. It has to be a closed poly solid surface. As you can see here is showing the open poly surface. So let's go back to the scenario in this case right here. As you can see, I have the original curve right there and look like I have this. Let me explode it. I have this and this will be my sweeping rail. And then I also have this middle one and the, this one will be my sweeping rail. Everything look all right. So that's starting with this that we're going to sweep to. You got rail one, rail two, cross section and that looks fine. And then you got another sweep and then you want to sweep to. Now when you click on here, you have a two option. One is called curve. The other one is the surface edge. And in this case, we want to choose the curve and then want to pick up here and here and it looks fine, right? Once you finish, you usually want to do is join these two together. Now, Look at the top right here and able to join the surface or poly surface. That's already give us a sign. Those two on the edge is not a hundred percent match like this edge and this edge. As you can see, we can see it's kind of a crossing right there. And why is that happen? Let's go back with this one. What happened if I use the sweep tool and I do want to choose the surface edge and this one, and this is the cross section and you'll get something like this and then want to hit uh, join and you should able to join, but it is not right. So when you have some scenario like this, you need to go back to the your original curve and see what's wrong with the curve. I mean, zooming on every of the join, you see this one seems like they are touching right there. This one seems like this is touching right there, but you can see this one is not touching. That is all the point, uh, the problem where it's coming from. At the really zoom out, it look okay, but when you zoom in, it happens all the time on my students' work. To fix this, we can move in by selecting this point, use the move command, make sure your all snap is on and the end point is on, on the bottom. So I want to snap into the end point and make sure you have the end point is on. Right, so make sure all of them is touching. If it is not touching, that is going to cause the problem. So that's using the sweep tool one more time. If you have rail one, rail two, cross section, that is one thing. You have rail one, which those two should be exactly the same one um, in this case. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. We want to choose the surface edge here, and then we're going to choose this one. So now we can join this one and this one. 
they will become one piece able to join together so you won't have the naked edges in the middle. Double make sure we want to add the object. You can see all the naked edges on the side. It's not happening in the middle. So then we can solve this problem. So once again, most of the time, it's because the endpoint doesn't snap into the endpoint for your curve. That will cause naked edges. Number two problem that we have is the fillet edges. For example, on this edges right here is 14.52. After I boolean union and everything, and I decided I want to fillet edges. So let's go ahead to fillet edges. We want to fillet edges for something really small. And let's say we want to do 10. If we click on here and hit 10, and that will be fine. This one, it is still a closed solid poly surface. But in some scenario, you need to have a bigger fillet. And so let's say I wanted to do 15 instead of 10. And then when you try to fit it right here and you want to use 15, it looks fine right there. But if you zoom in a little bit, you're going to see this cap like a round sphere is hanging on top of this. As using the H analyze, we want to add the object right here. It will show exactly right here. That is the problem. So how do you avoid this issue is you have to know what is the area you're going to fit it. The best, the uh, best way to do is using the dimension tool. And then you want to measure from this point to this point coming out is 14.52. So anything smaller than 14.52 you will be fine doesn't have uh, it's not gonna have a naked edges let's say let's give it a try I'm gonna use the fitted edges and I'm going to click on this edges for let's say I want to set it for 14.51 just one point like 0 0.01 smaller and I want to pick up this edges and then we'll have something like this that's sending it for the test analyze edge to wall and show edge and it's showing there's no naked edges so remember how much you can fit the edges it's really important you need to know it before you just go ahead to starting fit it let's take a look on the next one number three the most common mistake that people have the naked edges again is still with the fillet but instead of the fillet edges we're going to fit a surface. So for example, on the icon right here, you have fitted curve. You also have fitted surface. You also have a fitted edges. And fitted curve, which is only fitted, is using on the curve, fitted surface using on the surface, and fitted edges using on the solid, right? So now I'm going to use a fitted um, surface. And it's instead of picking up the edge, you're going to ask you, what surface you want to fit it. So I'm going to change the radius for 10, hit enter. I'm going to pick up this one and I'm also going to pick up this one right there. All right, it looks fine, but the problem is it's dealing with this surface and also this surface, like those top and the side surface. It doesn't care about the third surface. It doesn't care about the neighbor. So if you send this whole thing, so even though you want to join back together and then you wanted to add the object and you're going to see there's a naked edges there. It's because you are using the wrong fitted. All right, so it happened a lot and having one piece hanging out there, it can redo it as much faster or you can just explode it into all the surface and trimming each other. You can trim it up off and then join back. All right, so let's take a look on the next scenario for number four. The most common issue to have naked edges is when you're doing a, a bunch of the bowling and a lot of time the bowling coming into the point that you have that little triangle here and there, little surface right there. Maybe you need to do something else. So you need to explore them first and then you're going to join them back together in some scenario. So I may want to pick up some surface and then you want to pick up in one by one. This is when most of the problem that happen is you have to pick up one by one. So that's why I'm going to join everybody back and click on this one. And it says the open polish surface. And then we wanted to find out where it is and we pick up this one and then it is right there. So issue in this scenario is you pick up one by one and you didn't join certain faces back 
and then accidentally delete it and that's how you get this type of the naked edges number five the most common issue for the naked edges is when you do the flow or flow along surface so for example i have a pattern right here and this pattern is really well calculated on the surface that I have on the bottom, it matched the first point. And coming back to the very last one, I have that point right there. So in order to have this flow it back to this surface, we are going to use the flow along surface command. It's going to pick up this object right here, and it's going to pick up one of the end. I'm going to pick up right here. And coming into the target right here, I'm going to pick it right here. Now let's take a look on this one. It look everything look fine, but it's a little bit tighter on where the connection is. And this is where you usually have the naked edges. Let's take a look. It is an open polished surface. We're gonna use again analyze tool. We have an edge tool and we want to show edge and like what I say, here is where the naked edge is. If you zoom in enough, you're going to see that it has a gap there. You can try to fill the gap if you want to, but I don't like to do patching work. So I wanted to show you how I usually fix this issue. It's really simple. When you have the object like this, you have this open right here. And then when this is flowing to the ring, it's going to stretch, which means the straight area is not no longer to be straight. So what I like to do on this one, I'm going to cap this one first to turn them into the solid. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing, flow along surface. And I'm going to pick up this object right here. I'm going to pick up the surface and coming into the target surface, I'm going to pick it right here. All right, so right now what we are seeing, if you click on this one, it's a closed solid polished surface. Ideally, this one should work, but there's a problem. What is the problem? There's a surface right there because we put the surface right there. It, because we put a surface right there, it allows us to have the gap connected really well. But we need to remove that extra surface. Otherwise, when you got printing, there's an extra surface inside of the shape. It doesn't work. Right. So what we wanted to do is we want to extract this surface. We're going to extract it. This one, we also going to extract it. Uh, let me did it. This one extract both of them and coming over here. We want to extract it. This one did it. And there's another one in there because both right and left side, they also have a surface right there. All right. So now we pick up this one. Let's take a look. It is an open polished surface now after we delete the surface in the middle. Let's take a look where it is. As you can see, it's all the way around. And because of the way that we are doing, at least we don't have the gap on where the edges right there. So what my little trick is, you're gonna pick up everybody, you're gonna explode it, so they become so many tiny faces, and then you're gonna join them back, All right? Once you join them back, right here, it will show it's a closed solid polished surface, and that will fix the problem. So here it is, the five most mistakes that people have on their model to have naked edges and how to solve those issues. I hope you enjoy the video. Please let me know if you like this kind of video for technical 3D model solving. Leave the comment below and join the membership that I will share more tricks and tips on my membership program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.